We're here at uh, Double Barley Brewing in uh, Smithfield, North Carolina. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump away from Raleigh. We got a chance to catch up with the owner, Larry, to learn about the brewery. Hey, beer people. What's up, y'all? Brucey Brothers here today, and we got a special episode. We're up here at Double Barley Brewing with Larry. How's it going, man? Good. Thank you for having us. Appreciate you coming up. So tell us a little bit about your, your location, man. Uh, where are we at? I know we, we drove kind of a long way to get yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, we got up early. Yeah, we're in, <laughs> uh, we're in Smithfield, North Carolina, okay. right on 75 Pass. Um, right off of 95, about a few miles from 40, uh, just southeast of Raleigh. Awesome. Yeah, we awesome. saw you right off the highway, so that was good. Yeah, it's it easy actually worked very well. Easy to get to. Cool. Well, uh, tell us a little about it. I see we got um, some samples here. We do. So and, uh, uh, you want to start us from yeah, left, right yeah, so to left. It looks all right, like. so we uh, we loaded up today. Uh, this is our Abbey's Amber Ale. Cool. Uh, this is our Touche IPA. Uh, this is our Muffins Magical Elixir. This is a special IPA oh, wow. that we did for our general manager, her 50th birthday. Oh, okay. And, oh, wow. you know, she didn't really want to remember that, so we did that. <laughs> uh, but that's got mosaic hops in it. Oh, yeah. uh, this is our Wilma's, this is our Imperial IPA. That's 12.2%. Oh, nice. um, yeah, we have our uh, Belgian Double. Mm -hmm. We have our Vanilla Porter, our Thrilling Vanilla. Cool. Uh, we have our Steak Cake Stout. And uh, we're getting ready to pull this off, uh, actually, uh, probably this weekend. It'll be the last one, but that's our FFF Holiday Ale, our 2013 Spiced Holiday Ale. Oh, cool. Ale. And that's nice. about ten percent. So, nice. so the first thing I noticed, y'all have a, a good variety of, of brew here. We I do, mean, definitely. So uh, I'm just gonna go. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to. You know, just, just, just but uh, at the same time, yeah, um, you guys have so much room for expansion too. We do. We've got a lot of room. We uh, we we got this facility because of the location, kind of the setup, and the fact that we do have a lot of room for expansion. So, I throw in vanilla is uh, our biggest seller right now. Yeah, I saw so, it. Yeah, when I was uh, doing some research on it online, yeah, that came up a lot. So. It sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, really now good. that the the thriller, we make our own um, uh, vanilla extract. So we oh. we uh, slice up about 450 vanilla beans, soak them in oh, Jameson's wow. Irish whiskey for a week, and then we add them in there and let them sit in the in the fermenter for another week. Oh, oh wow, yeah. that's really cool. I see. This is one of the bottles you guys you guys just bottled this yesterday. Just bottled it yesterday. Uh, it's our first bottle release. That's our Wilma's Wandering IPA. It's our Imperial IPA, 12.2 percent. Uh, nice. Got enough yeah. hops in there. You could probably stuff a mattress with it. <laughs> nice. Stuff a mattress with it. <laughs> nice. Cool. So, uh, where are you guys going to be distributing these two? And like, what's your your, your area right now that you kind of? So, uh, uh, mutual out? distributing uh, picked us up uh, two months ago, and we're in the Triangle, as far west as Greensboro right now. Uh, we're getting ready to open up in Wilmington. We're in New Bern. Goldsboro, kind of the eastern part of the state. Okay. Uh, we're on tap at about 30, 35 different accounts right now. And oh, wow. uh, the bottles That's are good. going out to all your normal, uh, a bunch of different bottle shops, bottle mix, bottle red, a lot of places like that. Okay. Local bottle shops, Clayton Craft Beverage, and uh, Sand Hills, and that kind of thing. So, yeah. So we step you up. We go from the Touche at 6.8 to the Wilmans at yeah. 2.2. Right. That's, yeah. that that's some exponential growth. Yeah, that's that that culture shock. Yeah. <laughs> culture shock. Yeah. 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 yeah we've had a lot of people leave, uh, you know, leave us messages about their experiences drinking Wilmans. So. Yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> nice. Sweet. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's a great thing. So how long have y'all been open? Um, uh, we opened up uh, first of October, uh, more or less. Uh, we had a grand opening mid uh, October, so not long. About oh, three oh, months. Okay. Uh, we've had the factory in about three months. Um, had the building for about a year in front of that, just getting everything prepped and all the equipment in and yeah. brewing and that kind of thing. So. Wow. And uh, prior to this, how long were you home brewing? About six started. years. Yeah. Oh, so wow. <clears throat> I got into this. Uh, Cheryl got me a, uh, a home brew kit for my 40th, and uh, nice. pretty much uh, within a year it's an took over our. It really is. It took over our entire life. So yes. our, our dining room was the fermentation area. Uh, we stocked yeah. all the you know bottles in the in the. Living room, you know. I so. see. So all, all, all you wives of home brewers that aren't That's right. supportive, you you see, yeah. you see what happens if you just show a little bit of support. Man. Just, I'm, yeah. not sure, I'm not sure you're selling anybody on it because <laughs> yeah. it, it went from a home obsession to a uh, yeah. It's like well, Danny took over the whole life obsession. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Yeah. It's good for you though. After this, we're gonna go check out the brewery. After touring the brew house, we come back inside to meet up with Mark, the brewer. So we're here with Mark, and uh, we actually got a, a beer pour to see uh, exactly uh, what is it. 
It's a, Tell us. It's, <laughs> a, it's our holiday uh, Belgian strong ale that we do. Uh, it's basically, uh, we call it the FFF, which stands for uh, Family <laughs> Fucking Fun. Woo! Family <laughs> Fucking Fun. That's his now that's, that, now that's, yeah, that's my, yeah, going by the quacks. 90% of our quacks yeah. are him. Uh, are me, me and my, yeah. <laughs> my fucking <laughs> F-bombs. But see, now y'all, y'all open the floodgate. <laughs> see, now, so you can't be mad at me Yeah, you, yeah, you open it for us. So, um, tell us a little bit about, um, I guess, you know, the brewing process, or, or the ingredients rather, and what, what okay. do you expect out of it? Alright, so what we do is we basically make a, a, a big holiday Belgian ale, and we go with a, a great banana yeasty flavor you that, you, smell that you get out of it, almost a, a real sweet cloviness behind it. Like banana nut bread. Yeah, yeah. most definitely. That is most a very good description. <laughs> yeah. um, we add uh, cinnamon sticks to it, we add uh, vanilla beans, we add uh, 1,400 wow. cranks of uh, fresh cloves. Uh, this is a uh, breakfast beer. Yeah, it, it, it kind of is. You know, that it's, sounds it's like a sweet, breakfast but beer. not too sweet. It smells like Christmas. Yeah, you know? yeah exactly. It, it's, that's basically what we were shooting for was Christmas in a glass. Christmas in a glass? You <laughs> took it out of my mouth, man. I was just about to say and, Christmas and in a glass. And for the, you know, the family <laughs> fun part, you know, we kept it around 10% to make sure, you know, you get a nice little buzz. Get a growler of that, yeah. man. You go to holidays, <clears> you, you Hell yeah, yeah. we'd be like, all right, everybody. Yeah, exactly. Like the Christmas vacation, you know. I hate all of you, but I'm glad you Yeah, let's, I guess we're going to go ahead and try it, man, and, yeah. and, and give it a taste. I think I already spoiled it. I tried it right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, the banana yeah. and the clove flavor definitely up front. Yeah. Like I said, it's got more of a cinnamon smell. And you can taste a little bit of cinnamon. Spicy. Yeah, and we soak all yeah, those. very spicy. Soak so all good. those in the Jameson Irish whiskey. Oh, and make wow. sure that they... There's where the spiciness it. comes from. Yep, get a little bit of uh, yeah. extract out of it. Yeah. And you get a yeah. phenomenal beer finish. Yeah, What's the ABV on this? Uh, 10%. 10%? And, and it's smooth. You know, I mean, yeah. it has a little bit of burn. But the burn, it's almost more like from the spices rather than the alcohol. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That little heartburnish. It, it feels good. It reminds me of like a... It's crazy. It sounds like... Drinking a warm soda, which I know you don't like him too. Yeah, yeah. That, don't listen, that, don't like, listen to that description. Yeah, it's good no, it's back. great. It's like a craving. <laughs> it's like you, you just drink it very yeah. well. Actually, I can chug this, which would be a horrible idea. Yeah, yeah. well, that's where you know, that, that, that really can't Yeah, that, that's when you have to have fun with the family is when you start yeah. chugging it, man. Just play beer pong with this. But, um, but thank you so much, man, for giving us a little yeah, bit of insight on the brew. Smells good, tastes good. You know, we, we appreciate everything y'all got well, going on, you. man, yeah, and having us by. And it's great. And we're going to keep the brew pouring, all right? Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. To end the day, we stepped out to the back porch to enjoy some more brew. All right, so we're sitting out here with a, with a good friend of ours, Larry. He, he came down to it, saw us at the Conquest, you know, uh, anniversary. He's a big uh, a big part of the family, I guess, here yeah. at Double Barley. A lot of people want to call me an aficionado. I'm not an aficionado. Uh, I'm not a craft beer snob. I'm sure as hell not a craft beer beast. But I'm a craft beer junkie. I like good beer. I will go anywhere for it. It's, it's strange. Everywhere beer is at least Larry. locally, you know, within. Larry the, checks in. He checks in, Facebook. man. He checks in. That's why. That's why when we did the hop slam call, yeah. man. Honestly, he's the first person outside yeah. of like our, you know, people we live with, pretty much, that yeah. tried it. You know. And like they said, I did try their hop slam, slam clone, and to me, it was good enough that I would have paid for. Oh, they did a fantastic thank job you, on that. Beer. Thank you. So I know you spent a lot of time up here. I was going down the road and saw the sign out front for a brewery and did a U-turn, came back, introduced myself, and I became part of the like, family because like, Cheryl, Cheryl, Larry, and Mark, they're family, and they made me part of the family. I am a hophead, but I love my stouts, porters, and beer that made me the convert after the first tasting was uh, their steak cake stout. Yes. It's uh, thick, it's ooh. rich, it's chewy, uh, dark malts, uh, dark fruit flavors. I mean, you could almost eat it with a spoon, but it is that and, good. And it's smooth, too, because I remember yeah. when we tried it earlier, I mean, it had a great nose, it had a smooth finish to yeah. it, you know, it, it, had, it was full of flavor, yet, it, like you said, it's chewy. You know? I mean, it's just... The other, the other thing that hooked me here is uh, go big or go home, and the, and the vast majority of their beers are right around 7 up to 12%. Yeah. And I like a good big beer. You can't yeah. go wrong. And you can't go yeah. wrong. And, and, and 
And they have some that, that obviously taste really big, and then some that they're a little smoother, that, that you know, yeah. kind of hide some of that big, you know, alcohol. But it's crazy, impact. the smooth ones are the ones that, that are really kick your ass. ass. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the whole, like, like how people talk about moonshine, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it tastes so good, you know, you, you don't know when you're really starting to feel it. But, um, but it's awesome to run into you, man. It, it seems, you know, yeah. we run into you more and more, and that's awesome, you know. Um, thank you for keeping up with the videos like you do, man, and, and obviously being a big part of the craft beer movement. I mean, uh, you know, yeah. breweries recognize you from, you know, South Carolina, where we're from, all the way up here. So it's definitely awesome to sit down and talk to you, man. Yes, thank, thank you, you very right. much. And those of you that do not know them, you need to get to. There you go. Yeah, and this coming from like a beer aficionado. <laughs> you know, yeah, I can't, I can't even pronounce it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chunky, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being friends. All right, so we're just sitting down here, uh, actually with Cheryl, and uh, we got a special bottle that they just started um, finishing up, actually. Yeah, this one, yeah, it's the first bottle they came out with. Um, as you saw um, earlier, we were talking about it. The Womb is Wandering IPA. I as in I, but IPA obviously sure. India, India Pale Ale. Can you tell us a little bit about this brew? Um, you know, what kind of information do you have about it? Obviously, it's an Imperial IPA, uh, what, 12%? 12.2. Um, it was designed by my husband, Larry, the brewmaster. Nice. And I appreciate that because I'm a hop head. Good. Um, and that's appreciated by us because yes. there's not many women that appreciate hops and a good hoppy beer. Oh, yeah. that's all I'm Yeah, about. It's you all know, hops. yeah, like, like I get A lot of women are like, that's disgusting. It's the worst. Right, yeah. well, you know what? I'm not the typical well, woman, um, especially if I'm drinking a 12.2% beer. <laughs> nice. Good point, good point. Nice. But it's a special beer. Um, when we brew it, it is it has 160 pounds of orange blossom honey in it. Oh, so wow. that counterbalances all the hops. That right. It kind of There's Cascade and Centennial in it. Uh, <laughs> it's perfect because people who don't even think they like a big Imperial mm -hmm. like this one because of the balance of the honey. Yeah. Let's, get down let's to do the, it together. Yeah, let's try it out. Oh, oh, cheers. Jaws. Welcome. Yeah, my iron jaw. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. You can smell the sweetness. Smell the honey. We put it in three different times, too, during the fermentation such a, process. such a sweet hop. Oh so man, it. that is good. Beer? No, it made yeah. me gleek. I, I, it had me drooling a little bit. So obviously, this I'm is so oh, proud. Wow. It's gleeking. So what's the it's name? So Where's proud. the name come from? It's gotta have a story. Uh, the, the picture is very interesting. <laughs> yeah. The story has to match. Uh, tell us a little bit about Wilma and her. Yeah, I guess. well, um, my best friend nicknamed Wilma years ago. Okay. Uh, okay. We actually started with Wilda for Wilda Beast and transformed into Wilma. Well, well it sounds story. better, Wilma. Yeah. Yeah. Wilma. Yeah. So <laughs> when Larry was going to make this. Um, mm -hmm. It's well known in our friend environment that when I have too much to drink or way too much fun, one and not not the same every time. One of them dies because one one of the other. yeah one of the yeah. Other. oh okay that's cool. which is always a great indication of when you need to pay, take me home. Yeah, that's um, a cut off. Right. Well, on the label, you can see that we took the took into yeah, effect. Yeah, like for the oh, hurricane. Oh, it does have a hurricane. So you got nice. the eye from the wandering eye, the beautiful hops, um, and we tied the hurricane story in. And, that's and the story goes that just like Cheryl. Um, Hurricane Wilma went, can go from zero to cat five in a very short period. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. You can find this in bottle shops now. We did our first limited release oh, last, last week. Um, I just have to say that I handled the bottle tomorrow. Nice. There you go. See? Boom, there you go. So it is. See, it is all about her. And in a good That's way. In a good way. Hey, we released um, <laughs> 60 cases to uh, bottle shops and they sold very well. And we still cool. have some out of the tap room. So. Sweet. All right. Cool. Well, come on by uh, if you want to grab some of this. You better do it ASAP. ASAP, it's good. It, it's, it's worth amazing. it. It's worth it. I mean, even if we drove here just for that and didn't even do the video, I think That's it's true, just true. worth it. It's very good. Thank you so much for, for talking Enjoy to us it. about yeah, it. Appreciate it. Being so awesome with us, and uh, there you go. So maybe you learned something. Maybe you won't. <laughs> Be careful. You're warned. <laughs>